going to go to L.A. We've had a lot of L.A. calls today with Art. Hey, Art, how are you? Hey there, y'all. I'm doing good. How about yourself? Great. What's going on? Hey, so um, to get started, you know, I'm a, full, I'm a full-time student. I'm a full-time worker. I'm about to hit my mid-20s. And the issue, but not a crazy issue, is just I still live with my folks. Um, I decided to move out at 18, but for some reason I wanted to take care. We had a bad relationship, so I just wanted to take care of that before moving on. And things are better now, you know, thank God. But um, the issue is that, you know, they receive government benefits, and uh, I'm feeling a sense of guilt and worry that if I leave, uh, you know, they might have, they're kind of in their 60s. I don't want them working to an early grave while I'm out there taking care of myself, but I kind of have to move out in the sense that I need to start my financial independent life as well as still help them to enjoy their, uh, their golden age. So I'm kind of stuck between like, I want, I want to start my life. I've already delayed it just so I can help them. And I want to start my life, I, but I feel guilty for leaving. And um, I guess right now that's the, just the general gist of it. Hmm. Well, this is this is interesting. I, I first of all, I love your heart that you care about your parents, and that comes through even in your question. And you wanted to repair any parts of the relationship that needed to be repaired. Tell me a little bit about what the conversations with your parents are like. What is the expectation? What are you? How are you taking care of them financially now? What do they expect? Is there an expectation that you are going to stay there for a lot longer? What What have these conversations been like up to this point? Uh, well, the conversations have been almost non-existent. You know, they don't re- usually end well, so I just try to avoid them. But usually, I mean, I'm Eastern European, so I mean, I'm sure uh, a lot of people can understand. You know, uh, the the general idea is that you stay with your folks until you're married. Yeah. And uh, it's a cultural thing. You know, but yeah, it's a cultural yeah. thing. Personally, I've I've always been had an independent streak, so I think my folks are kind of they'll just go along with what I go with, but. Um, but yeah, it really just depends on me, like regardless of the culture, their expectations, you know, I listen, like I, I always have an ear open for them, but I, I'm at the point where, you know, it's also my life that I'm responsible for, not them, not anybody else, just me. So if I leave, I'll, then they'll, they'll accept that. If I don't, they'll accept that. Uh, but expectation wise and conversation wise, I'd say my, um, there's always like a nervousness in my mother's tone in regards to finances, just the worries. And that's all it is really like the worries, the worries, the worries of what's going to happen next, where they're going to leave, what's going to happen with them. So uh, I don't think she does this intentionally, but her worrying kind of puts like this, uh, like, uh, I wouldn't say guilt, but just I worry too, you know? Yeah. Like an Um, unspoken pressure. Yeah. Yeah. How are you supporting them? What do you mean by I'm supporting them financially? Are you giving them money every month as rent? Yeah, I'm getting with I'm helping them with their bills, just personal things, like just honestly, just whatever, just trying to take care of them the best I can. So uh, are you paying bills for them? Uh, I'm paying most of them. I'm paying most of them. I'm paying about seventy percent of the bills. Wow. Now. This is so you're not paying rent, but you're basically covering their life. Oh no, I'm also paying the rent as well as the other the other our other bills. Okay, so this is a very different situation. How much are you giving them a month total, would you say, including bills uh, and rent? Like, like minimum a grand a month, but like I usually like throw them like a couple hundred extra. So we can say like thirteen hundred, twelve hundred. And are they able to work? How old are they? Um. Well, well, my mother is, um, I think, in her mid fifties. Uh, so she. So and my uh, my father. Uh, got cancer in the early 2000s so uh he wasn't he hasn't been able to work for a while he he, he physically so can't the, work because of that yeah so it's just been me and her is he on any kind of disability does he get any income currently yeah he does but, you know it's not it's 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 it's, it's good it's not it's not a crazy amount but like it's it's good for what it is I'm curious how we got to this point that you're paying all the bills. There, I know y'all. It sounds like y'all are not a family that communicates a whole lot. You said the conversations are kind of non-existent; they don't end well, so you avoid them. I, I've seen those family dynamics. I know what you're talking about. But something happened to the point where you started paying those bills. How did those conversations go? How did we get to this point where you're paying seventy percent of their expenses? 
Well, it's just kind of what I wanted to do. I figured like it's the bare, it's the least I could do for them. You know, all the things I put them through. Just uh, yeah, just start when I first got He's my offered. first well-paying job. Yeah, let me put put just, this. Why not? Okay. Let me put this scenario in. What if they live another? I mean, they're they're young, truthfully. Uh, what if they live another twenty years, and they're expecting you to pay seventy percent of their bills? His mom's fifty. They could would live a lot longer than that. So I'm just wondering. There, there doesn't seem like there's a way out here. I think you guys need to have a hard conversation about an exit strategy, and you need to say, hey. In six months, I'm going to move out, and I want to make sure you guys are taken care of, and this is not a, a battle where I want to leave you guys in a lurch. This is me saying I need to live my life, and I want to make sure you guys are taken care of, and you help them develop a plan for what that looks like for them to cover their own bills. And that might mean mm. mom needs to go back to work. It might mean dad needs to find something he can do remote on a computer or whatever his health maybe allows him to do. Maybe it, it means looking to make sure they have the right insurance in place to protect them. And so I think you can help set them up without enabling them and paying bills for the rest of your life as you try to start your adult life. Well, and it, and it sounds like that that's what you you want to be independent, Art. And so what's keeping you there is not a desire. I, I hear your heart that you want to take care of them. And, and I love what, exactly what George said, where you're going to have a conversation that's going to be an exit strategy that's going to be gradual over time so that you can pursue your independent financial life and independent life and also help assist them, make sure they're okay and they, they are able to be self-sufficient. I want to acknowledge one thing. Your mom's 50. She's young. She's young. She can work. She might not want to work, but if they don't have income, she needs to work. Someone needs to be working so that they have income to take care of themselves, and it's not all on you. I love your heart, but it's not all on you, and, and that's not sustainable long term as well. That's just, um, you know that. And so exactly like George said, you start working on an exit strategy and bring them into the conversation. Hard and awkward, awkward conversations, but you need to have them.